Hello there, my flock. The Bad Raven and the Drew Drop are back. Literally oh, yeah. are back. We are literally back. Where are we at, Drew Drop? The movie theater. We are back to watch our first movie since about March. I'm talking about like new oh, new movies. Because we have been watching like older releases and yeah. stuff like that here. But this is our first brand new like big movie. I know there was a movie last weekend called uh, Unhinged and all yeah. that other stuff and they said it's, it's the first new movie. I don't really count that because first off we weren't really interested in that movie and also no. like this movie that we're about to watch is probably the first real big movie. You agree Bad Raven? Yes I agree even though it's probably been made since 2017. We like you know superhero type movies and I don't know if this is a horror film or a superhero you movie. You haven't even said the title yet. <laughs> hmm? You haven't even said the title yet. What are we watching, Dad? Oh, uh, I thought I said it. New Mutants. We're watching the New Mutants today, guys. Is, um, it, is it the sequel to the Old Mutants? I don't know. I guess it is. I mean, I didn't see that movie. But <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's, I know it's somehow related to the X-Men. Uh, but other than that, I have no idea anything else so i mean i you know i knew it's a a new twist on the x-men i mean mm -hmm. I, I had collected the new mutant comics back in the day i don't remember much about them i was mostly just collecting instead of reading them uh i think it's got uh the kid from stranger things in it yeah it's got the kid from stranger things which is jonathan and then they got uh the girl from game of thrones that killed the night the night King. I, I don't know who he's talking about because I've never seen Games of Thrones. <laughs> I've watched but, it, but I mean, I didn't yeah. watch it religiously or nothing, but I have watched it. She's in it, and him, I'll put some pictures of him. And, mm -hmm. and as far as everybody else, I, I can't say really I know much about him, but we really wanted to get out and watch a movie. We didn't really mm -hmm. die to see this movie, but we wanted to get, you know, support the movie theater. Come out to Tri County and Cinema and, and watch their movies because we want them to definitely stay here. We don't want them to go out of business. As far as expectations go for this movie, I have no expectations. Like, literally, like, I, I don't, I'm not really, like, like, super excited, but I'm not really, like, you know, I'm not really, like, not looking forward to it, too. Like, I'm really wanting to watch it, you know, because it's our first new movie. You if know? it just entertains me, I'll yeah. be happy. Plus, we want to go back and see face uh, Bill and Ted face the music this weekend because it's going to be out. Oh, so. yes, it's going to be out, so we can't wait to watch that. So it's going to be great there. Oh, yeah. The I'll... only thing that kind of worries me about this movie is it's been, like, delayed, like, four or five times. Yeah. So that's what really worries me. Two times of which were the coronavirus, but... Like three other times because of the movie being re edited and all that other stuff. Yeah, because we don't know if it was just the trouble, the production. Yeah. Or if they actually reshot a bunch of stuff. You can leave comments down in the comment section. Tell us what you know about this release. And we'll give you our spoiler free nah. before and after uh, review of it and here in just a few minutes. So we'll catch you when we're coming out of this in just a few hours. Oh, okay? yeah. So all right. catch you on the other side. Catch you on the other side. Hello, and welcome hey. back. We're out of the movie. Andrew, do you want to go first? Oh, yeah. I'll go first with my review. It was a very flawed uh, movie. It was had a lot of problems with it, I think, in my opinion. It wasn't totally awful. I do think that there was some redeeming parts of it. I did like the whole last part of the movie. I thought the whole last part was pretty cool. So, some of the effects kind of looked weird, especially you know towards the ending with like some of those effects that kind of looked really less detailed. But other than that, I, and it wasn't that bad of a movie. I just thought it was really flawed, and especially some of the pacing was kind of weird in the movie. I thought, and there was definitely two parts in the movie that really brought it down for me. And you probably will know what I'm talking about, Bad Raven, when I talk about that. But uh, but this is no spoilers or anything like that. It was just an all right movie. Yeah. I'll probably give this one a probably either a rental, probably a red box rental, probably at around you know really cheap. You know, like just kind of just like the rent. You know, it's nothing that you need to buy. Uh, nothing need to you know uh, go out and see. I mean, I don't, I don't think it was that bad of a movie, but there was some bad parts in it. But I thought that the pacing was really weird and stuff. But I did like the soundtrack. I did like the soundtrack for the movie, and I liked the guy that played his, uh, the guy that played his Jonathan from Stranger yeah, Things. Yeah. He was in this. He's my favorite character of the movie. 
Uh, he was well written. I loved his superpower in the movie. I thought he was awesome. I thought he was my favorite character. And then my second favorite character was the blonde headed chick. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't think of her name. In the movie. Uh, I, I don't know her. I don't remember her name, but she was the picture. she was awesome. I loved her. And like, let's just say that she does a lot of stuff in the movie, and then whenever she's on screen, uh, I, I loved her on screen. So I'll probably give it, and if I had to give it an out of 10 rating, I'll probably get about a solid 6 out of 10. You know, it's not it's not a bad movie, but it's not a good movie. It's like a gray area movie. It's like in between, something like that. So that's my opinion. Okay. Uh, there's so much to unpack with this movie. Um, I can see why it was never released uh, in 2017, and yeah. because I don't know if you know about the Fantastic Four movie they made for. Um, kind of reminds me of that movie, it, where it was very dark and bleak through the whole movie. This one was like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street meets uh, One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, because it just was set around a kind of like a mental institution in a way. Yeah. And, Just like in the trailer. Yeah, like in the trailer. I don't think I'm giving any way. Yeah, that's in, that. the, that's in the trailer. So we get to see an in-depth feeling of everybody's past and takes forever to get through. And, yeah, see, the pacing is horrible. Yeah, and like, the pacing uh, like, is terrible. Like Drew Drop said, the ending of it was good because that's what I thought I was going to see was what the ending of it was. Yeah. I didn't care much for the girl that was the main star of this movie. Yeah. Uh, the rest of them were good actors. I'm not saying she was a horrible actress, but I just think she couldn't carry a movie. Her acting was really wooden and just didn't mm -hmm. feel good to me. I just, I, and also I just didn't like her character. I just did not like the main character at all. I felt more for the, you know, like I said, the yeah. Jonathan character more. I think they should have just revolved around him, make him the main character. If they made him the main character, I probably would have loved this movie. That's like I'm thinking. The story of the group that was already there before this uh, girl comes to the compound. I thought would have been a great story because I, I mean, I guess you need this one girl to yeah. have the story going out, but you have to go through all their backstories, why they're there, uh, why this new girl comes in, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's psychological, a lot of psychological stuff. And it's just not your fun day at the movies for me. Now you may like that kind of stuff. I didn't care much for that. I mean, I can't, I would say skip it. That's me. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like it in any shape, form, or fashion, except for the ending. Like Drew Drop said, it had good action in that. It had cool characters doing their cool mutant stuff. Yeah. And I thought that was neat. If they could have put more of that through the movie. If they put a little bit more of that and made the pacing a little bit better and just changed a few scenes around or edited some scenes yeah. out, it would have been a way better movie than it was. But I would it's still not. A good movie. It's just not a good movie. That but. is my my thing on it. Uh, you may have a totally different take on it. Go watch it for yourself. Help your local theaters by watching them. This movie and other movies that are out this weekend. I mean, it, they they deserve to be seen. I'd rather at least I came out seen at the movie theater. I didn't rent it on VOD or anything like that. Yeah, I give my uh, support to the Tri County Cineplex because I mean it it was worth going to see as but, far as. Uh, the support in the theater. Seeing a new movie, yeah. yeah just go ahead and put your expectations low. Yeah. I'm just saying that right now. Well, that and, was, yeah. and not only that, but just just rent it on Redbox. That's all you need to do. If you really do need to check it out, just get the Redbox rental. Yeah. All right. Don't don't go to the movie theaters. I mean, Bill and Ted's coming out tomorrow, so I advise you to watch that over <laughs> this one. So, well, I mean, it's according to what you like. According to if we like Bill and Ted, but I yeah. think we will. So, uh, you got anything else to say? Uh, that's about it for me. Well, I uh, just wanted to say thank you guys for watching, and I always remember the Bad Raven is your friend, and we really appreciate you on the Bad Raven channel. So, we're going to let you go, and we'll talk at you later. And goodbye. True drop out. <laughs> <laughs>